Shalom, Shalom, Shabbat, Adonai. Welcome to the Six Exodus program. Thank you for listening again. The name of this segment is Part Two, where God has scattered us. I want to say that um, these are uh, the Omex in Mexico. They had what is called uh, ziguats. Some people pronounce them as ziggurats. They are temples that was used in early uh, Mesopotamia. And they burned sacrifices and incense unto their gods. Uh, most uh, ziggurats temple, uh, they have them still in the world today. Namely in the province in Iraq in Iran and in Mexico where the Zeoglas was and uh, where they worship idols and um, that's why God had put them out because of these things and they continue to do them just like in America they're continuing to do them because they don't know God so that's why people are going to these churches and worshiping images of pieces of paper wearing crosses and stars and all these idolatrous things that God said he will scatter them amongst the heathens and he has and that's why we are still worshiping these idols even today and as I said earlier concerning the Native Americans the uh, Adam and Eve had five children. The first one was named Cain, he had a sister named Lilua. Abel had a twin sister, her name was Acria. Now, concerning the first uh, writings of the Bible, they uh, had um, their offerings. That they offered to the Lord was not acceptable. Cain offering was not acceptable. But um, what actually happened was Cain wanted to marry his sister, but Adam and Eve wasn't didn't want him to do that. They wanted Cain to marry Aquia, and they wanted able to marry Lilua so the devil got the best of him and uh, after he killed his brother he went and slept with his sister this is the uh, I believe Lilua was the um, the mother of what we call Chinese today which are Hebrew in nature because the first people on the earth were Hebrew and because Chinese also have the oldest the oldest uh, recorded history in, in, the, in the world and other nations they have recorded history also but um, China have documented their history very well and so, um, and we know that Quinn, who opened up the uh, the yellow near the Yellow River, had um, dug five tunnels, or uh, five uh, ditches, to drain the uh, the valley that's in the uh, in Mongolia region, and uh, made it habitable for the people. The mighty Quinn. In Chinese, his name is Quinn. But in in Hebrew, his name is Sin. Um, and the Canaanites, see, because all these people was in the same territory, but they they spoke uh, different languages and different dialects. So the people named Quinn, his name was uh, Sin, 
and Sinem and Sinites. In fact, the study of Chinese today is called Sinology. And these people, which are which are called Chinese, are Hebrew. Now the um, Chinese people have a, um, I think it's the oldest race, or the oldest clan people, are called Hakka, Hakka, Hakka people. And the Hakka people, most of them have is yearly, um, yearly meetings, in Mejo, Mejo Guangdong. And some some places they call it Messian, Messian Guangdong. And they have the earliest um, writings concerning Hakka women and the uh, Chinese men, uh, along with the um, spice traders. And the um, the spice traders uh, came from China, India, Persia. Ethiopia. They were all spice traders. These are uh, the world, the people in the world first started doing trade around the world through these uh, spice traders. Now, the spice traders, they um, most of the time they traveled and sold spices. Not only did they sell spices, but they sold also um, uh, drugs, chemicals. Um, cocaine. They did. These are uh, the uh, spice traders. They travel on supplies with their camels, and they travel very far distances around the world. So China, Ethiopia, Persia, Arabia, all these were spice traders. And they chose to those sold spices all over the world at that time in India. Even in uh even in the, as far as up to um the Black Sea, Europe. And you can go to Tarshish, which is England, by boat. So they have spice they call it spice merchants. The spice merchants came from different countries, mostly from China, from India, Persia, Arabia, West Coast and East Coast of Africa. The spice merchants, they travel all over. And uh, many of them, please, well, they call them caravan. They, kept, they travel in carav caravans and they bought and sold, bought and sold. Everywhere they went, they bought and sold, buy and sell, take back to their countries, go to another country, stay for six months to a year, sell, buy. And so it was um, buying and selling and traveling was uh, it was a thing to do. And um, you can travel and the world became more populated. And um, many people um, had shows. Many people took with them um, prostitutes. And uh, in China, they called uh, prostitutes chicken ladies. And they took them around. They did shows. They did dances. They did performance. And they um, they took their spices with them and sold spice merchants. They sold many things. Even some of them sold people. And so they had slaves. They would sell them. And so this was the activity. Of the region in those days. When people all traveled. And they sold spices. And spices of those days. Was very. Um, it was a normal thing to do. To have spice traders. And uh, China used to have um, what's called the Silk Road. The Silk Road, they they tra traveled um, from, well, at that time it was called Peking. And Peking is today called Beijing. And they came from 
the southern parts of China, even from the old city. I think the old city is called um, in China near between Hunan and Guan. Guangdong is called the ancient city. It's called Phoenix. They call blue people and they are very populous in silver. They did a lot of traveling and uh, and they came through the desert. Well, most people don't travel through the desert, the West Desert of China anymore, but they had caravans and spice merchants. They traveled that route called the Silk Road. They sell, uh, sold a lot of silk. The uh, Hakka people, they made it really popular, them and the Persians. They sold and made a lot of money. They really populated the world through goods, services, and uh, merchants making money. And the Jewish people, which you call back then, they called Esau. They did that when, uh, when they came to... Um, when they left Spain, when they left Spain and came to America, uh, they had a hard time finding land because no one wanted Jewish peoples around. No one wanted them around because it was bad news. But um, when they when America was discovered, they came here, stayed here in America, and uh, most American people didn't want them here either. So they found jobs doing petty jobs, but they always made the best of those jobs, like um, doing laundry, or uh, street sweeping. They they made they made them rich doing those jobs. It's like doing laundry. They made a business out of it. But um, all right, this is in part two of how God has scattered us upon the face of the earth. And how God populated the whole world with a race of people and built the whole world. Ziggurats and temples and how we built idols and worshipped um, idols. On uh, You know, most of the country has these ziggurats, uh, these temples that are altars, what they call high places, where people worship idols and burn incense unto their gods. Okay, thank you for listening. Have a great day.